because of how easy it is to use and how easy it is to pick up, I think it makes it a lot easier than to use an A and be like, oh, hey, we're using P6 now. I think that would not go down well. <laughs> Hey everyone, I'm so excited. So I'm in my car and I just got to a job site and today we're gonna be walking through how they're using Schedule Now, all the benefits, all the challenges it solves for them, how easy it's been to use. And so it's gonna be great. So I hope that you enjoy doing this little project tour with me. I'm gonna get out of my car, I'm gonna put my PPE on and we're gonna do this job tour. So stay tuned. So we have a full schedule, we have 90 day and we do a five week and then we used to have, we did do a two week board but it kind of got a little confusing so we just do a one week board. So when we, so we do a daily stand up with our subcontracts every, every day yep. at 11.30 and we go over what they're going to do for the day. If anything changes, they can change it on the board. So we like to still use the board just for that. Sure. Um, again, just because that used to it, um, but for five week and 90 day we use. Uh, we use uh, NA. Yeah, so a little bit about the job. We have, uh, we're building a mental health facility for uh, for children. So it's a it's a behavioral health and wellness facility for kids. Um, and it obviously it's a huge need uh, nationwide, you know, to, to focus on the mental health of kids. So. partners especially if we're dealing obviously in facilities like this we have a lot of roughing um, in hospitals just in general there's a lot of roughing above the scene on, in the walls that kind of thing um, so just sequencing out even the heights of what you know certain systems are going in at we work with the schedule and we have our model pulled up too and we do and we do MEP walks and we've been doing them for the past year so basically we walk around with the schedule be like hey you guys are you know are you guys done yes so they hand it off to the next guy he comes in just to make sure there's no clashes as MEP is going especially overhead obviously we have a very small space um, we have a lot of activities going on in the space at the same time so being able to you know have it handoffs and and build on a schedule that everyone can have a look at so that when we sit in the meetings with the trade partners we're like hey you have until this date to get this done if they have an issue with getting it done on that date then we can mitigate it in the schedule right um, but especially in areas like this to have the short interval planning um, especially if we're, we're self-performing our our own footing and uh, Catherine Place wall over here um, so especially with the weather going into spring we have you know, we don't have all the time in the world. It might rain one day, it might be sunny the next. So um, to have that short interval planning and um, have the weather delays in there too, and, and also having the option of knowing what, what, what the weather's gonna be like that week or what's coming up, we can plan our operations outside, so. Go, you know, from a field standpoint, you want something that one is easy to read and two is easy to you know ha for, to have an interface that you can go into and change things easily you know <laughs> you know a lot of the guys there there's always resistance you know for for making a change as, as big as that. But honestly, I think the, because of how easy it is to use and how easy it is to pick up, I think it makes it a lot easier than to use an A and be like, oh, hey, we're using P6 now. I think that would not go down well. <laughs> I 
I mean, we kind of lay out our uh, our five week the same as we do with um, a lot of you know just our full schedules too. So like we have our milestones at the top. You can tie you tie your activities to a milestone start. Um, you know, obviously on here we have you know air handling unit startup, my, uh, air handling unit startup finished milestone. Um, it, you know, I put all my activities in with the durations. Um, so we have our smart planning um, kind of stuff. And then I like, I mean, we, we use the knot, obviously, you know, to make our ties and stuff like that. I actually make our ties in here more than dragging more than it on dragging it, yeah. on the on the uh, schedule. J just because you have so many activities and it gets so kind of clumped yes. up that um, I'd rather put them in on um, on the logic part. Um, short interval planning, um, you know, we can break apart, especially with concrete activities when you've got, you know, form, pour, strip, you can break that activity apart. In a lot of times, you know, especially on this job, we have um, we have really small areas that we have to work in. So we have a, a courtyard on the west side of the job. A lot of people work in an area at once. A lot of people have activities coming up. So if we have, you know, say we're pouring a, a foot in over there, um, you know, we have to break apart the activities. Hey, you know, we have to get this done in a week. We can have the guys from the craft who, who are doing the job but don't necessarily you know, work yeah. with the schedule, they could come in, we can have it up on the board, they can understand what they need to do and when they need to do it. And plus you can put in weather days and stuff like that, which is nice. Sure. You know, so for tracking purposes, in terms of schedule, you know, you can put that in there. So in the future, if there's any questions, especially with a client, hey, you know, why we run over time or, or whatever, or if we're trying to claim weather days, we can go back and look at the, you know, the historical data of that activity and be like, okay, what happened here? You know, so. Iris is the, is the most innovative part of it because anyone at the, the lowest level of scheduling abilities can go into Iris and it lays it out all on the table for you. So, so uh, th this is also like just a huge tool I have on here just for smart planning and logic purposes. Yeah. Um, if, 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 if we have an activity that's lagging or we want to break an activity apart, you know, the, the short interval planning is really good to use too. From a field standpoint, the interface is really easy to use. Field guys, is usually like the stereotype of like, we're in the field, we can't, you know, we can't do this schedule, it's too hard to use. I think it's very simple to use, it's very easy to teach. And I would say just with the with the innate training videos that you guys bring out, if yep. someone were to purchase innate and watch the training videos for maybe a couple hours out of the day instead of a forty hour <laughs> course, yeah, you could be a small uh, GC house remodeler that could make a schedule on this in an hour, yes. you know. The thing I like too is when you you know you guys came out to say and you know we talked to. Uh, our district schedule all the time and you know the guys at NA are Tom. always uh, yeah. Tom Tom and Jason yeah. and the guys that are, in, uh, are at NA they're always looking to for our opinion on what makes the program better to use you know so I've never had a P6 rep call me up <laughs> you know <laughs> to, point, to yeah. ask me hey how do we make this program better you know yeah. and obviously my opinions are from a construction standpoint right but I, th I think it because I, th I think it, they, they o there's always needed to be a program that takes P6 and Microsoft projects and kind of combines them together and this is kind of what that does you know um, because P6 has really good functions but it's very hard to use and Microsoft projects lacks the functions that P6 does and I think what innate does it kind of takes the fun the best functions from P6 and the kind of basic layout of Microsoft projects and puts it together to make like an interface that like everyone can use, you know. The thing is, I mean, I'll keep going back to field guys because obviously I'm a field guy, right? For a field guy, he wants to like keep it simple. Yeah. <laughs> like he wants it as simple as possible for the most part, you know, obviously, and I keep going back to like the guys that have been in the industry for more than 20 years, you know, that are used to the paper schedules and Excel and that kind of thing. Yeah. It's easier for them to get integrated with a program like this than say train them on a program like P6. Like I, I think if 
we tried training everyone on P6, it'd be an absolute disaster. Like <laughs>